Good evening. High gas prices are affecting just about all of us, especially those who drive for a living. We'll have more on how it's impacting Uber drivers in just a minute. But first, it also affects those who volunteer and inspire throughout our community, including volunteers for Meals on Wheels. I've had one volunteer say, Betty, what are you going to do when people have to stop delivering meals because gas is $7 a gallon? While we hope that will never happen in our area, the gas increase still affects more than we know. Meals on Wheels currently has around 750 volunteers that deliver 1,250 meals a day across the big country. Judy Favor has been volunteering for seven years. She says she'll keep volunteering for as long as she can. There's a shortage now of workers, so uh, I'm thinking uh, I'll do my part and I'll keep coming no matter what the price of the gas goes to. Nine regulars. Joan Batson is a volunteer of over a decade. We're going to keep volunteering. We believe in this. We believe it's important. People need food, and someday we may be the ones needing it. So, um, so we're going to keep doing it unless the gas prices go to $100 a gallon. Remy Batten has been volunteering since she was three years old. I just am proud of like everyone else here delivering, even though the gas prices are like getting up. Francois so has been getting milk for almost five years. She says she's grateful for the people that deliver her food, no matter the circumstances. Well, I'm just real honored that they come do this. And Even when it was cold and freezing, they come. 68. As for the organization as a whole, Betty Bradley, the executive director at Meals on Wheels, says the organization is coming up with a plan if the gas prices get too high for volunteers to continue delivering meals, including cutting back how frequently they deliver in some areas. Bradley says, If I have to hire people to deliver meals, you know, that would be an expense for us, but it might be something that we'd have to do on a short-term basis. 